after she passed away, I found my mother um, was, was, was a keeper of much. <laughs> trying to think of a nicer way of saying she was a pack rat, but she was a pack rat. But it was a wonderful thing in some ways after she died. I mean, I found speeches she had written back in the 60s and the 70s when she was running for the school board or when she was speaking at things as a school board member. And there was very much a, an, an overlay in everything she said about inclusion and equality and treating people with dignity and with respect. And this was a time where those kinds of things weren't routinely said. Well, she was the first, and that always is kind of a thing that you uh, you think about it, but I, I would call her a trailblazer, a freedom fighter in her own way. Um, she created a model for the rest of us that we could look at and say, this is what a successful woman looks like. As her daughter, I didn't think of her as this trailblazer, and she did it all in a very low-key way, in a very understated way, but she stood her ground. I think for like, people like Cecile and Helen Gordon Davis, Sandy Freeman, and everybody who kind of led the way that they saw them as maybe detours or bumps in the road or things you expect to happen just because you're a female, but they were not barriers that would keep them from trying to pursue what they wanted and achieve what it was necessary to do. And she was often the only one, you know, be it the only woman, the only white person in the room, the only, you know, fill in the blank, the only Jewish person in the room, the only um, whatever it was, and it didn't phase her. Um, she just held her own. I think we all encounter that. You know, you, you know, I, I and encountered it in my days in this segregated world that I lived in. I encountered it as a female, and I laugh and tell people now, I've, I've got three things going against me. I'm female, I'm black, and I'm old. And so it's going to be the rest, the history of my life that I'm always having to fight for my value just because people put these labels which are artificial. I mean, it, all the things that I am, but they shouldn't be the reason that people have these expectations about what I can and cannot do.